Coaches, Rick Stewart with AllAccessCoaching.com. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below so we can let you know when new content's been uploaded. So, um, a, a little bit of to, to the rules, right? So, um, basically our line is going to slide down except for our right tackle. He's, he's going to, he's going to protect inside. And then, uh, our guard is going to pull around and log what we call the most dangerous man. Right. And, uh, if he, if he doesn't find a man, he's kind of supposed to shuffle vertically or horizontally, excuse me, down the line of scrimmage, unless the quarterback tells him he's running, um, and our backside guy, our motion, our left wing is going to motion and block out the, the end. Um, and, you know, and then our quarterback is it's rolling. So, um, you know, uh, formations. Um, you know, my, my free advice for today is you don't need a lot of them. I, I, know, uh, I know that's crazy talk. Um, I know we try to complicate it. And, you know, I told my goal is simple. And, um but I, I just don't feel like, and I know this, this talk is waggle out of multiple formations and, and I'm going to give you what the, the talk is, but I just don't think you need a ton of them to be successful in the play action game. I think it's more important, like I said earlier, that you give the play action from the, the formations you run off. If you said to me, coach, I, I run equally out of all of them, then by all means. Um, but it's, it's really important. Um, but you know, here, here we go. I'm going to go into, you know, this is what you need. We've got it in our playbook. Like I said, we, uh, we keep it simple from an execution standpoint. Um, we want to run these plays, um, to the, to the most likely run formations, what we're running out of. And I think the other thing is that I didn't say, if you're having a ton of success out of one formation running the football, that is it right? Like you don't need to reinvent the wheel, run, run your waggle or your, whatever your play action is, but for this talk waggle out of that formation, um, that I think is, is huge. All right. So here's our, our, our blue wing formation, right? Heavy run formation for us. Um, you can see they're in a three, three stack. I'm going to play it once. We'll talk back. But so I talked about our goal to dis displace these two linebackers, right? I mean, we really in a versus a three, three, and want to displace all three of them. Um, and, and if we look at what this does, like we want this to have the same action as, as a uh, trick play, right? I talked about that now. Um, there's a bunch of things wrong, I guess, when you get into the film, you can see what, what you're good at. But the most important thing is this guy's wide open and this, this guy should be right here. And he, he's also wide open, right? But we've displaced them by the run action. So this is early in the game. Um, we've, we've ran it well. The, uh, Quarterback does a decent job about turning and pausing, right? Right there, the, his back is completely turned. Tail, our wing back is making the fake. Tailback is already made the fake. He, like I talked about earlier, he's got to chip that that fake quickly, um, and then he's getting into the the route. But if you pause it right here, like all the linebackers are are within four or five yards line of scrimmage, right? Um, and T tackle does a pretty good job right here of keeping his hat low. I'd like him to sell run more, a little bit more aggressively. Um, but we get out there, um, and you know, we could have this right here. I understand that that's not the, that's not the read. We really want to get this to look at all the space, right? Um, receiver did a really good job of running this guy off and staying outside. And so it really created some open space and we have a really big gain here. Um, and, you know, I think it, it, it's really important that, Hey, this is what we're trying to do. They, they chase down. And, and I think the pulling guard really attracts this, this guy too, as well. Right. So um, tight end open, great completion. Same thing here, same team. 
jet motion wasn't supposed to be it's a freshman playing wing for us so but as you see like this is practice reps even though the play was messed up quarterback still pauses could have paused longer um does a good job i like to see him get a little better depth there right so we want the quarterback to get to six which would probably be here um and then get wide but sometimes lucky is better than good and again watch these guys here that's what that's really how we grade if our play action is successful uh, X is and O is being one thing, but does it manipulate the defense enough to, to do that? And yes, it does. Now, spacing is another issue that we've struggled with. Some of that is practice facilities. Um, most of our practice is done on an unmarked field, so we do have some issues. But I'd like this guy to come up, pretend he's going to block, chop, 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 and get flat here. What uh, Tight end to come and attack this down block, get, get up, get uh, – get above him, get to 12, this guy to chop inside and then get outside like that, right? And I think that's really um, how we take this play to the next level. Um, but again, we displace the goal to open the middle of the field. I would say in, in this case, not perfect, but goal accomplished um, and turned out uh, quite, quite good. In this in this game again right now I will promise I'll give you different clips from a different game this year but uh, I, I just sorted waggle and and again right so we we've got we could have done a better job with with this dude right but these other guys they run to the ball Right, and I, I think that was their best player that week, if I remember correctly. Uh, pretty smart kid, and we still do displace him, right? And we don't do a great job of getting that log block. Um, we really could swing him to to his outside shoulder, get a better chip from from our tailback to help slow him down a little bit, but like displaced right got this guy wide open middle of the field um good gain now would have been a great play if he didn't fumble but uh it uh, no harm no foul went out of bounds um and again so you'll see a lot of different things here right another guy catching the ball which is important to our offense um you know we got different running backs in important to our offense i don't even know the score at this point of the game Okay, so right here, I, you know, uh, really important. So this is late in the game. The game's over with. Um, you know, we've got a, a sophomore quarterback. He he turns out to be our starter later in the year because we lose lose our starting quarterback. And so I think it's really important that, you know, as you're rotating through in Michigan, we've got a five-quarter rule. It means kids can, kids can play five quarters a week. So... Uh, you know, in games that we think we'll we'll be able to run away with it, we like to get our young guys. So we have, we've got some freshmen in the game here. Um, we've got some sophomores that played on JV. We'll let them finish out the game and and really use it to, to develop our our system. But in that that case, we're still going to run our same offense, right? So we still need to get film with these guys. Um, and it came out to be that this guy was was our starter and led us down the stretch. Uh, to, to win the first playoff game in, in damn near uh, 20 years for the school because we lost our starting quarterback from, from the last clips, right? And so he does a, a pretty decent job of hiding the ball. This is his first varsity snap ever um, and delivering it, delivering it to the running back in the flat. I don't know. You know, if we look at did, did we displace the, uh, the linebacker, if we get him to move a little bit, um, you know, if this guy runs outside, again, he's a freshman playing on a Friday night. If he runs outside, this guy is wide open, right? Um, 
And so I think that's really important as, as you teach this to your younger levels. And uh, again, uh, another kind of coaching point is this tailback is way too far upfield. We don't want him ever getting more than three yards, and, and he's at probably <laughs> – seven to 10 by the time he breaks off. Right. And so if he's here, then the tight end is, is wide open here. And if this guy's at his landmark, I, I think that's really important as, as a coaching point. Um, but turns out to be a decent play uh, for our young kids. And, and that was a good, good look for us. Coach is Rich Stewart with AllAccessCoaching.com. I really hope this video helps make you a better coach. Make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below so we can let you know when new content becomes available because we're all about coaches helping coaches. And remember, coach, better today, never as good as tomorrow.